Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Joe. And in today's video, I want to give you some grammar practice using the simple past and the past continuous. These are two tenses that often go together. Something I do with my university students is practice making sentences so they can understand how to properly use grammar and vocabulary. This is a helpful way to practice and check your knowledge. So we're going to do it today. In case any of you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Joe. I teach English to foreign students at a university in Canada. I also make a YouTube video every week. So if you like this, I appreciate it if you hit the like button. Also, you can subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so when I make a new video like this one, you can see it. All right? So now, let's get to the grammar practice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you uh, some words to put together into a sentence. All right? So for example... In this one, I want a positive sentence that uses he, study, English at university. Can you think what it should be? Here's the answer. He studied English at university. Okay? That's how you would put that together. How about this one? Do you know this one? Negative, she, buy, that red dress. The answer should be she didn't buy that red dress. Okay, now here's a third one. Here's a question. And it says, we and pass Joe's test. What should it be? Did we pass Joe's test? All right. So you understand how we're doing it. Now we're moving into the past continuous. All right, that's where we use the past tense of the be verb and the ing form of a, a verb, okay? So here's the positive one I want you to write. Positive, a year ago, I live in Poland. Can you make that into a sentence? It should be, a year ago, I was living in Poland. Okay? Try a negative. Negative. This morning, he work in his office. Can you think of it? It should be, this morning, he wasn't working in his office. All right? Now, try to do this one. There's a question. Want a question mark? She wait for you after school. What should that be? It's a question. Was she waiting for you after school? All right. I hope you got that, those right. And now I'm going to give you a secret code. In this video, I'm going to give you two secret codes. And if you watch the whole video and find them, I want you to send them to me on Instagram in a direct message at Teacher Joe Crossman. Then I'll know that you're a fantastic student and I can help you more. I love helping hardworking students. All right. So the first secret code is Joe made this video a few days ago. All right. <laughs> That's the first one. Let's continue on now. I want to, to write sentences that contain the past continuous and the simple past together. So this is going to be a little harder because you have to figure out, well, which one should be the simple past and which one should be the past continuous. Okay? So here is the first, the first set of words. She walk down the street... When she meet her friend. Can you put those together? 
And the answer is, she was walking down the street when she met her friend. Okay? So the past continuous part is the long part. Was walking, was walking. And then the simple past is the short part. When she met her friend. Hi. Okay? <laughs> Let's go on to another one. The words I want you to use here are I clean my bedroom when the doorbell ring. Can you think of this one? And the right answer is the right answer is I was cleaning my bedroom when the doorbell rang. Okay? Let's go on to another one. Here, here are the words, I not visit Cancun when I work in Mexico. Can you put them all together? I didn't visit Cancun when I was working in Mexico. All right. <laughs> Sometimes a little harder. Let's go on. We got one more. Here we go. These words, put them in a sentence together. He not pay attention when the teacher ask him a question. All right. Can you put them together? And the right answer is he wasn't paying attention when the teacher asked him a question. All right. I hope you got that one. All right. So those are the practice sentences for this. All right. If you, uh, and now I'm going to give you the second secret code. The second secret code is Joe was relaxing an hour ago. <laughs> All right. Now, if you send me those two secret codes on Instagram, I will write back to you. All right. And I can give you more help to improve your English. All right. Now, if you want to continue studying, I'm going to put a link right here <laughs> and you can click on that and see a different video. Maybe my beard's a little longer, <laughs> maybe a different shirt, a couple more hairs. <laughs> but the most important thing is you keep learning. OK. And by the way, do you like studying grammar? <laughs> That's it for now. See ya.